Oh, Dishonored is a very fun game. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I wonder. <laughs> Are you seriously dead? Yeah. You're pretty dead. I just killed someone by throwing a couple of glasses into them. So that's fun. The, uh, it's like oh, please, more open no, world no, than most no. stealth games out there. I um, need not help. quite open world. Well, I don't know. There's just so much stuff you can do. Like, Can't you can be all sneaky and <laughs> knock people unconscious. You can walk around with the bodies. Be quiet. You can throw them into glass. I wonder how much glass you can break before you die. See, look at this. This is the peak of entertainment right here. Knock the maid unconscious, break every pane of glass in the entire building with her body. This is why it always takes me forever to beat anything like a good physics engine or any sort of open-ended anything. Can't break that. Not sure what that was. I need more glass I can break. But yeah, Dishonored is pretty sweet. It's got all these powers you can use. Like, what do I got? I don't have Possess yet. So that's no fun. But you can teleport around and shit. You got this heart that gives you really disturbing um, stuff. Says the disturbing stuff, I mean. At the academy, they cut the flesh of the dead. And trap the lightning from the sky. Pick up people's heads. That's surprisingly amazing. Rat. Tough little rat. Oh, right. I can show off another power over. So basically, these plague rats. A hand. That's totally a hand. Can I pick up the hand? I want to pick up the hand. Well, no hands today. Sorry. Let's make sure we got the right thing here. <laughs> Stupid rats. Wait, don't eat my maid. Where are you going? Yeah, when the rats are in swarms, they can attack you and stuff. Eh. The story looks pretty good so far, too. Still unconscious. I don't know how I've... I was gonna do the stealth thing initially, but I realized you have to be good at the game to do the stealth. Um, well, there's... It's basically got a morality system, and one way to do things is by killing everybody. The other way is by, you know, stealth and non-lethal methods. And that's harder to do things, but it gives you more rewards in some ways. But Honestly, it's not... It's a lot easier to just kill everybody, but it tries to punish you for killing people, and it kind of fails at it really bad. Probably can't take her unconscious body in there, so we're, we're gonna have fun with this for a bit longer. Where's our glass to break? Oh, wait, wait. Idea. Get. No. Get. In. The chest. I'm gonna put you in this chest, goddammit. So help me. not gonna fit. Anyway, I forget what I was saying. But yeah, it... Um, there's a pretty good balance of stuff you can do. Well, there's a non-lethal way to get around all of the situations in the game. The powers are a bit more focused on killing things. Like, there's not... Some of the stuff you can use is non-lethal, but I would prefer more non-lethal methods and easier ways to do stuff, because, uh... I'm not the best at stealth stuff, um, as you might have heard, I don't, I'm not very subtle. Um, 
I, I prefer more ways to stun people. <laughs> and more ways to knock people at a distance. There is a way you can do that with the sleep dart, which is how I knock them unconscious. And um The only problem with knocking people unconscious is if you get rats, can I pick you up? No, <laughs> oh, what did I do? Wait. There we go. Okay. P crisis averted. Yeah, the one problem with knocking people unconscious is that people still find their bodies and freak out. So you gotta move them around and hide them. And alternately, uh, rats can eat them if you let rats get near them. So I always try to kill rats. It's time for a shower. No, no get in the sink. Yeah, that, was, that was much less hilarious than I was hoping. Break that fish. Kill the rat, please. I'm gonna kill this rat. With your. Come on. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill that rat. Eh, you suck, rat. You know what? You know what, rat? I don't need your shit. That's right. Carrying the plague and sitting around like a. Oh, go in the tub! In the tub! Does the water fill up? I bet it doesn't. No. I'll leave you in there. Wait. Can I pick up this bust? No. There's gotta be something I can throw at her. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> she is a sound sleeper, uh, let me say that. I mean. Wait. Let me just clear the table and then I'll let you guys go. I am such an asshole. Clear the table, mate! Aw, you're a terrible maid. Clear the table! Get all this crap out of here. See, this is how you use a maid to clear the table, guys. No maids were harmed in the making of this video. Except for this one. This is how you use maids to clean your house. If you think that you know you just pay them and they clean stuff, no. You're using your maid wrong. This is what you're supposed to do. And also, down the stairs. <laughs> Let's see if she's still alive, shall we? How many flights did she go down? Two. All the way to the bottom. Oh, she's dead. Oops. Sorry, maid. Have your buddy to console you. Why did you suddenly... What? <laughs> that was awkward. Oh. Can't pick up the swords. It's a body party! Let's have a body party. There are lots of bodies there. I know there are more. Where did my other bo- Oh, there's one of them. It's a head. There should be more bodies in here. Oh well. I remember at least... Five bodies? Whatever. Well, this has been Sir Tap Tap with Body Party. Starring Rat. I'll kill you. Even with, like, my wind thing. It's not my wind thing. I always get confused by the way this thing scrolls down here. Now I can't. Well, crap. You win this time, small cage. In case I didn't actually mention the game's quality, it is a very good game. I'm just a terrible person and I enjoy screwing around far more than doing what I'm supposed to. Also, one thing I noticed with the art style is kind of weird. The, um... Oh, and you can quick save and quick load, which is what I usually do before doing stupid stuff like this. Um... I forgot what I was talking about before I stabbed her. Um... <laughs> was I saying? I forget. But yeah, this game is fun. Um, story seems pretty good. Um, and there's lots of ways to do stuff. You don't have to be a psychopath and kill everyone you meet. It just helps. 
and you can be all sneaky. And one thing I like about this game, um, aside from being attacked on stuff, there's really no penalty for being seen. So if you're gonna go for the non-lethal route, you can be seen and just run like hell and disappear. And some of your skills really help for hiding or getting away from enemies. So it's okay if you're seen. So you're going down. Like there's no that I'm aware of, you know, there's no magic points meter or, you know Take that. Nothing penalizes you for being seen unless you actually get hurt or something dies or some shit. Combat's also decently um, in depth or whatever. Lots of bodies around. Lots of people are dead. That's basically the story. And so yeah, you can you can be seen and run away and you know re-engage, and I really like that. Um, Attention, for a stealth watch. game. This district is now considered a highly infected Yeah, area. yeah. Um, I don't think there's anyone else left to kill. But so if you're not, um... Yeah, he was a good guy. Dance party! Dance party, woo! Aw, oh, the dance party's over. That was an abrupt and short dance party. Oh, hey, what, what, this is the thing? Aw. Oh. Doors are magic, occasionally. You can break down some doors, and some doors are just magic and unbreakable. I'll stop being confused and let you go. But Dishonored's pretty sweet, and if you like stealth games, it's a pretty good one. Um, if you like stealth games and you think it's absolute heresy that you can be seen, and you know, a thousand needles insert themselves in your anus, killing you instantly, Attention, Dunwall citizen. Um, it's Please fairly brutal in some ways. Like, if you really want to get non lethal, on state business, um, you really do have to be good at stealth, so it's not, you know, super forgiving or anything. It's only super forgiving if you're, um, basically if you're killing everyone in sight doing, well, even then, um, you know, if you're killing everybody in sight, they can still kill you pretty easily. Especially if you're someone like me who never wants to use his health potions, so he runs around with like 10% health, which I'm currently doing. I think I used a health potion once. Oh hey, let's kill this guy. What the boy? Um, it could have been sneaky. There's a sneaky button. A sneaky button I have not been using. Um, but yeah, you can crouch and be all sneaky. And, oh, one of the cooler abilities, Dark Vision, which gives you standard hoops. Sneaky Vision. Um, you're looking... I thought that was your back. Oh. That was disorienting. I thought his field of vision was like, looking at me, but it was going the other way. Yeah, dark vision lets you see the sounds you make. That will kill me. Um, it lets you see. Um, enemies feel the vision. It lets you see live enemies in a certain area. So it's pretty cool. I really like the power so far. I'll stop rambling, rambling and uh, load up my good save. I like that you can quick save. I'm one of those people that does stupid things. And then loads their save state. Then does the exact same thing five more times until Help I'm bored, me. and then I actually play the game. Which, this game is fun for that too. I, that's most of the fun I've gotten out of this so far. <laughs> because that is pretty damn entertaining for me. Because I'm absolutely evil. Um. Oh, your breath. I thought you were ahead. I was like, I don't remember killing anyone in here. I'm terrible at ending videos, goodbye.